Good morning, everybody. Just gonna head on into the factory because I need to do some shipping in the shipping department because Dan is busy editing the D850 Real World Review and Steven, well, Steven's away on vacation, but check this out. I happened upon these doors. They're purple. Purple, I tell you. Who in their right mind would ever do this to a door? Who, who would paint it purple? Me. That's who. So for those of you who haven't seen it in a while, this is the shipping department. These are the packages I just packed that need to go out into the mail. These right here are what's left of the tomatoes from the garden that's been outside, but uh, that's kind of winding down. But yeah, a quick look, shipping department, shipping department, all the countries we can't ship to because of G-Star Raw, and here's all the shirts right here. Uh, quick little plug, store.fronosphoto.com. If you want to pick up any of your I Shoot Raw shirts, you can do that right now. Uh, but now, got to get to the post office, and I also have to work on some writing, which I'll tell you about in just a second. So remember the video that I did that was Just Start? Well, I'm taking that to heart myself, and I'm just starting to make videos like this where I talk to you. I tell you what's going on in the day, sure. You could call it a vlog, but beyond that, it's gonna be my job to edit it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pick what program I'm gonna edit in. I'm gonna have to call Todd and he's gonna have to help me or call Steven or Dan to give me some tips on editing. I don't expect it to be amazing in terms of editing, but I just really wanna talk to you guys uh, and tell you what's going on and, and that's, that's it. So I'm taking my own advice. I'm just starting with that and that's what I'm doing. Kitty! Kitty, why is the music still on? Did I leave it on? So do you know what's super important to my day? Food. I make sure I get enough protein. I make sure I get fueled up for the day early in the morning so that I can power through, get a good lunch in there, sometimes get a good workout in there, whether it's first thing in the morning or whether I do it later in the day. But eating well is how I stay healthy for one and also sleeping well, getting enough sleep. I try to do about seven hours a night uh, to get enough sleep, but I think this is all important stuff as a business person, as a creative, when you work for yourself. If you're not fueled up for the day, your brain doesn't work as well, you don't function as well, and if you don't eat well and sleep well, probably not gonna feel good. So basically, one of my favorite places to go to lunch multiple days a week is a place called Stock, because I can get pho, and it's good. It's really good, here it is. So I wanted to share with you some things that go through my mind about this game we call the internet. And you know, you may create what you think is the best piece of content you've ever made and you've spent so much time on it. Then you put it out and it's received well, but it doesn't get seen, it just dies. YouTube has a way of killing videos after 24 hours if they don't get a lot of push right up front. I'm not sure if you guys know that, but the first 24 hours of a video on YouTube are the most important to determine whether or not the spike of views continues to grow or it literally just falls off of this world and just tanks and then the video is basically done. So it's just interesting because I put up a video this morning, the, the stop doing this to your photos and don't play on the train tracks type of thing but I really want people to watch the photo news fix. I mean, I want people to watch every video, but this is just, it, it, it's a game. It's a, it's a never ending trying to figure out what works, what doesn't, or just keep putting out content. Uh, and some things work and some things don't. So uh, it, it may look like it's easy to some people, you know, the, the YouTube world and making videos, but it's not super easy. There's a lot of work and a lot of thinking and stress that goes into the whole thing. I'm not complaining about it. I'm just telling you what I think and sharing it with you. So right now I'm off to go to a place called La Cologne, which is a really good coffee place. I don't drink coffee, by the way, because uh, I gotta get some writing done. I'm writing a, a, an outline for a new crash course in photography, a, a crash course to help people that don't have a ton of time, but they wanna get out of auto. Well, I'm gonna help them get out of auto, and it's a little different than what I've already created, the Fronos Photo Guide to Getting Out of Auto. This is a little different, obviously it's a little newer, but the fundamentals never ever change. So that's one of the things that I wanna get across in this when I'm writing it, is to uh, make sure people understand that the fundamentals don't change now. They're the same fundamentals that were the fundamentals back when photography started in the 1800s, and they're gonna to continue to be the same fundamentals as photography continues to evolve into the future with, uh, 
new technologies because the exposure triangle doesn't change. But I don't want to give you too much. I'm just going to sit at La Colombe and do a little bit more working, uh, do some more writing, and that's it. Let's do it. All right, guys, so I just got back from La Colombe and I finished a whole bunch of crash course writing. Uh, it's going to be a good crash course for people who just want to get the basics and fundamentals super quick. Uh, it should help them get out of auto, uh, so I, I can't wait to start filming it and get it out to where it's going to be. But also, I'm really happy that I just started to do something, which is make these type of videos where I just want to talk to the camera, talk to you guys, just share what's going on in a day, and just pretty much leave it at that. And beyond that, I got to do the editing, and that means it's on me. So that's going back to how I started in the first place was I didn't know how to edit. So I learned how to edit by editing my videos, though they weren't very good. So I don't expect this edit to be the best edit in the world. It's just going to be what it's going to be. And then I'll put it out there and that's it. Let me know what you think. Leave me some comments and we'll see you the next time. Bye. Subscribe now. Watch this, watch this video.